Right now, it is time for the Berardelli bonus. So you can see where the severe weather is going to be because the jet stream separates the cold air from the warm air. It's that collision that's going to produce severe weather this evening. It's already starting to ramp up and you can see that right over Oklahoma City, it's a four out of five in terms of the risk for severe weather. Could see some big tornadoes overnight tonight and then eventually later tonight and early tomorrow morning, it will move across places like the Ohio Valley. Now what's interesting is there's a big connection between severe weather and El Nino and La Nina. So first, let's talk about tornadoes. During El Nino, we tend to see less tornadoes. Right now we're in an El Nino. During La Nina we tend to see more and you can see that the impact is even more so when it comes to hail and other types of severe weather. During El Nino a lot less hail across Tornado Alley and during La Nina a lot more hail across Tornado Alley and you can see it one other way right here. This is La Nina a lot more severe weather. This is El Nino a lot less severe weather. So what's happening during El Nino to preclude or stop big severe weather outbreaks or at least less of them? The subtropical jet which which is over us. It makes it cloudy here, but it also traps a lot of the warm, moist, unstable air. It doesn't reach the plain states as much, and because of that, they end up seeing less tornadoes and less severe weather. And I brought the receipts, Rebecca. You sure did. And so we're, of course, in the El Nino, like Jeff just mentioned. Normally, we would have seen 224 tornadoes at this point, and so far this year, we've only seen 163, so certainly trending below normal. And hopefully, it will stay that way. We don't like severe weather and tornadoes. If you want to send me a question, send it right there, weather at WFLA.com.